For, for me, it's simple. I think, like, football's such a simple game, which we all try and make complicated. I want to be part of building a team and a club that I would be excited to watch and I would pay money to watch. You know, and creating a culture of work, uh, ambition. You know, people have to want to come on board and, and if they do, all the people will become better. The players will become better, the staff will become better. We will create something here and it will be a really good experience for everyone and they'll learn and, and they'll become better as professionals and individuals. Buendia is making a smart run through the middle. McLean looks to find him with a 50-yard pass. What a touch from Buendia! Into the path of Puki who can't take it in his stride, but now has it under control. Back heel of his own to Buendia! What a stunning goal that is from Norwich City! Brancic lets fly! Oh! To be honest, the feeling is just relief to get over the line, get it done, and what's nice is the thought that on the back of this we'll pay for the training ground work that we've done and you know we'll have something to really show for this Premier League um, promotion and that, that's a that's a pretty special, uh, pretty special feeling. Puki! Sensational! A fantastic volley by Timu Puki! by Emu Buendia. Steeperman and Puki's in behind here. This is his kind of territory. It's Temu Puki, beautifully done. Campbell and Norwich City are two up. That is it though. Norwich City caused the biggest sensation in the Premier League so far this season. Manchester City are beaten in the league for the first time since late January. We can't change the fact that we've been relegated. My job is to get our head around it and um, and get on with it, not not sit here sulking. Let's dust ourselves off and, and let's um, and let's go again. And you know, and, and where I'm from, you get back up and fight. And it's time to take what we've learned from this and, and uh, prove that we can get back there and prove that next time we can do it better. And there's the final whistle, and it's the whistle that means Norwich City have won the league. They are the champions again. Also unbelievable, um, humble and, and grateful they have played a little role in this uh, in this project uh, together with, uh, like I mentioned, fantastic people with uh, our sporting director, with our board, with our owners and, and all the helpful hands. Meeting with Stuart, I could see why Daniel has, has done so well here as well. Uh, that relationship, the sporting director, the head coach relationship is very important. We have exactly the same idea how normally a, sh a football club should set up and uh, everything here is in place and uh, obviously yes, uh, it played a crucial part to have somebody on board on my side, uh, a person who is important in this football club uh, which I can really trust. I think we sort of, we trusted him from the word go. I mean the minute he came in with his list of managers he was going to interview and what he was going to do, I mean it, it was just glaringly obvious. We're in another league. I'm sure when it ends, yeah, it'll end in a nice way. And, you know, this is a club, you know, I will live, I think, in and around Norfolk for life. It's my home. It's my son's home. And, you know, I want to be able to come back here in 20 years, at a thriving Premier League club, and enjoy watching football with my family and remember how special this place is.